Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're fishing for multi-species on the Wisconsin River up in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These fish are all in our harbors. Close to 14 there. Are you having fun? I'm having a blast. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, today is April the 10th, and I'll tell you what, I am so happy to be in this heated <laughs> pontoon boat as we go up the Wisconsin River. And uh, Matt, we got 49 degrees in Drizzle this morning. It's supposed to clear off a little bit later on today, but you know, in the springtime, people overlook the Wisconsin River system. It's really a fabulous place to catch walleyes. It is, it is all year as well. So yeah, it's it's fantastic. There's plenty of fish. Uh, doesn't matter what the weather's like, we're, we'll be just fine today, so. And you're one of the unique guys that I know that run a pontoon guide service on the river. And this, you can fit how many, how many clients at a time? Usually we try to do four, five, and then throw a couple kids in there, that's fine. So, but yeah, four, it all depends on what we're doing, but try to hold it around four or five. And, so. and you're capable to handle handicapped people too, yep. which is which is really great. Yep. And uh, let's talk a little bit about April. Fantastic time, huh? Yeah. Yep. This year has been uh, kind of nice because it hasn't been a huge rush. We haven't had a big flow come through. It's been pretty steady. So uh, things have been kind of predictable and, and nice. So. Well, I'm nice and toasty. I'm nice and warm. So is Blake, right? <laughs> yes. And uh, we're going to catch some fish today. And who do we, we have Yosef, your partner, too, yes, right? Yes, Joseph's right here. Yep. I call him Yosef. I love that you do. I know. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have fun today, right? <laughs> yeah, we are. Hey, folks, we're going to stay warm. We're going to catch some fish. We'll show you what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. They say things aren't built like they used to be. Tell that to John Johnson the craftsman behind Recon Boats. He and his small team make each boat by hand, maintaining the highest standards. Every shred of fiberglass, every stitch of upholstery, every latch, hinge, and switch. It's all in the details, which is why the angler is at the forefront of the design philosophy for every Recon Boat. Recon Boats, made by craftsmen, built for fishermen. I'll tell you what, folks, I've been a proud user of Amsoil for many years, and us sportsmen a lot of times not only have a truck, but a boat, an ATV, a snowmobile. And how do you figure out which Amsoil product to use in each machine? Yeah, that can be a challenge sometimes, and you know, we make it easy. We've got a lookup guide, you just go to amsoil.com, you put in your vehicle, whatever it may be, whether it's a boat, a wheeler, a truck, a trailer, whatever, um, you pick out your product, it tells you how much and which product to put in, real simple. And one thing I want to mention too, Amsoil does a ton of research before you even put the product on the market. You make sure that it's the best. That's correct. It's years in the making for a product to launch. There's a ton of research and development to make sure that it's going to protect like it's supposed to. And folks, to find the Amsoil you want, go to Amsoil.com. Meet Chris McGillis of McGillis Weimer, experienced personal injury lawyers. You know, they come in and what we do is we, we, again, we want to hear their story. We want to make sure they're okay. We want to give them guidance. A lot of times we call it quarterbacking their case, right? Help them put themselves in a position where they can get the best medical treatment they're taken care of. What we want to do is make sure that the only thing they have to worry about, John, is getting better, right? We focus on everything else. Hey, welcome back, folks. As we talked about April the 10th, we got a misty, cool morning on the Wisconsin River just north of Stevens Point. And, and Matt, as I talked about before, there's so much great fishing on the Wisconsin River. Everybody thinks the Bay of Green Bay, the Mississippi, but this is just as it's good. It's fantastic, yeah. And numbers and size? Everything, yep. And this is the time of year to just, they're gonna be everywhere. We're gonna check everything out. We're gonna get all of them, so. I love the pontoon boat, too. It's so relaxing and comfortable. And baits this time of year, you like that Kalen's hair jig. I do like the hair jig, yep. And the Kalen's hair jig has a built-in stinger hook. Is that important? That's key. 
Seriously? You got to have the stinger hook. We don't run bait on them, so you got to have the stinger hook. Yep. Oh, okay, and I like, you know me. I like plastics. Yep. I like the Kalen's jerk minnow. Yeah. But we'll try other things. We got live bait, too. We got everything. We're, we're, we're loaded for bear, so we're ready to go. I love this. Sitting and relaxing, <laughs> trying for walleye. Oh, that's a good Ooh, one. Yeah, here he comes. Real nice. There one. we go. That's a nice walleye there to start Get him our in day. There. Hey, there we go, buddy. You know, this is so comfortable here, folks. Sitting back here on the old pontoon. You get cold, you go inside, and uh, that's a nice walleye Ooh, right that's there. A buddy. Really nice one. Good job. Yeah. And that was on the Jerk Minnow Jr. Yeah. But look at the build on these fish, folks. I mean, that is really a well-built fish. And are these size common? Right now, this is pretty common size. Yep, we'll get into a bunch of these today. A lot of males. Yeah, so. now I was going to say, like, the guys that fished the Bay of Green Bay this year, they can only keep one fish. What is your deal on the Wisconsin River? Well, they just changed it here. It went to a statewide three bag, which is what we're all about. So uh, three fish per day. You can keep them between 15 and 20 inches, and then one over 28 out of that three. So. Ooh, another one. The, look at that rod bend folks pikeroo this is a nice what do we got here northern pike northern pikeroo here somewhere down here and there you go. not a big one but no. actually that's actually a good eater size mat and uh that's one thing, folks, about fishing the Wisconsin River. There's so many different species that you can catch here in April and May. And, uh, you know, there's a slot on the pike, too, right? Yeah, on this stretch of the river, it's a little odd, but it's uh, one over 32 inches. That you can keep if yeah. you want. So we usually try to let all those go because those are the, the good breeders out here. But there's a, a really healthy crop coming in right now. So. Now. Also, we got crappies, bluegills. What else you got that you fish for yeah. here? Catfish, I, sturgeon, perch. You catch, yeah, by you catch sturgeon by mistake all the time. Uh, everything. Perch. We got a really good perch crop coming up right now. So bluegills have been in so incredible. You, you got all year, all yeah. summer. We're always bending the rod on something. All right, way to go there. You're hooked up there yeah. now, man. What do you got there, buddy? Do you? Think? I don't even know yet. Okay, could be anything, folks. Like yeah. we talked about before on the river here. Oh, it looks like a walleye. Yeah. Yeah, in that clamoroo Ooh, there. Look at that bite. And <laughs> nice walleye there, buddy. Look at that. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. And again, that those those aren't uncommon that size, huh? No, no. Especially on the right baits. Look at it. Look, look at it. That that, that Kalen's hair jig has been an awesome bait, I'll tell you. <laughs> hey Joseph, is hair jig one of the most popular things on the river? Yeah, that and a rip and wrap. This one actually came on a on a small rip and wrap. We're just trying to oh, get a, a okay. little yeah. presentation. Yeah, out there. Figure it out here. But, today. I mean, you can see this thing is throttled it. And that is Choked. a fatty. Yeah. yeah. Now, are those females, those fat ones? This one is a. I think it, I think it is a female. Yeah, female, hard female, yep. yep. Boy, that's. Um, Look at that bite. They're just though. beautiful fish. Yeah, I love nice these and things. Gold. Joseph, all right, buddy. The sun finally popped out. Yeah, that's something we want to talk about. Let's see that walleye. Just a little one. Yeah, but if, you know, one thing I want to mention too, Joseph, is the sun is the best deal here on the river. Yep, it really helps with these walleyes. Uh, they seem to turn on with this cloudier water. If you got a brighter jig or if you got a live bait down there, they'll usually start turning on and you know getting a few bites and that sun pops up. Hey folks, Fleet Farm's got a really cool contest going on right now. You can win a televised fishing trip for two with myself, guy Josh Tigan, and Blake up on Chiguamagon Bay in Ashland, Wisconsin. Second prize is a brand new Minn Kota trolling motor. Third prize, a Fleet Farm gift card. To enter is really, really simple. All you have to do is text Go Fish to 86516. Go Fish to 86516. Woohoo! Well, <laughs> that doesn't feel very big, but it's still fun to catch them in the current. Oh, did you see that other one with it? Oh, Here, yeah! One right with it. Oop. And I'm just using a jig and minnow. Um, but yeah, so I just casted it out towards shore and slowly worked it off the bottom. And I got my walleye. <laughs> yes, hey, Joseph. Look at that. One, another walleye right next to the boat. Let's see what oh, we got one there, buddy. Again. Boy, On you guys in the back of the boat, you're getting first water. Yep. Hold them up. I can't see them. Oh, that, yeah, decent size. There's an, another one that came up with it. There's a nice school down there. Now, they're tell the folks when there's multiple walleyes coming in, that means they're spawning. Yeah, I think they're mid-spawn. You can tell this is a male. He's melting out a little bit. We're just looking for these females, and if these males are this aggressive, 
they should be pretty close behind. All right. You need the net there, buddy? I think I can flip them. All right. I'll tell you what, it is interesting. These are males that are biting right now. They're all males, and yeah. And actually, Joseph caught one that was squirting. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, look at that. Hold on, show the folks now. That's when you can tell, obviously, that, it's on. that they're spawning. Yeah. yeah. And are the, the, main, the females aren't that aggressive during the spawn? Well, when they're doing their thing, yeah, they, they kind of got their mind on one thing, but they'll still eat if you put a cheeseburger in front of their face, so. Yeah, right. And that's pushing 15 yeah, right yeah, there. that's legal yeah. fish, yep. Look at the coloring on that. They're though. so they're beautiful. Just, aren't they pretty fish here? You know what's kind of interesting this time of year is the fish can be anywhere in the river. And we've caught fish today in two feet of water and 12 feet of water. And so, 20. And, and 20 feet of yep. water. So you, you just got to try them all. Or are you looking for slack water or what? Normally we're looking for the those th current seams is okay. usually what we're looking for. There's still fish that are holding in the deep holes yet that haven't come up to do their thing in the in the backwaters. And then there's a lot of fish that are the main river that are pushing up to do their thing because they get a little warmer water in the main channel. Uh, but we don't have, like I said, a ton of flow right now yeah. either. So we're doing the best we can. A lot of the fish are just spread out through the middle of the river channel right now. And they're just kind of heading their way up. All right, man. <laughs> hey, give us a smile there, Yes. Buddy. You know, we haven't filmed a lot of the smaller fish we catch today, but we're getting here later in the day. What do you got, buddy? We got, our, one? We got our sunshine back here. Yeah, the sunshine, as we talked about Ooh, earlier, nice makes a right big here. difference on the Wisconsin River system. Good one, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, there you go, Absolutely. buddy. Absolutely. Nice fish. In the Clamorino. And you know, I want to tell the folks, too, if you enjoy crappie fishing, this is a great place to come later in April and May, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, the, the whole river's full of really, really nice sized crappies. And you guide for those too? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, we get them in a lot of the same spots of walleyes are most of the time. So That's what's so neat too. Yeah. Now, time of day, does that make a difference? Wow, well, we got our sunshine out right now too. Yeah, the time of day can make a huge difference in certain spots, but the, the sunshine is what we've been waiting for, so. Got another one on there, yep. buddy? Yep. All right, let's see, you need the net? I don't know yet. Okay. Yo, yeah, oh, nice crappie, get the net. Nice crappie, there we go. That's a nice fish. Now that's what we were talking about before, Matt. Yeah. The, the multi-species deal here. And these crappies are just moving in, aren't they? A lot of these, I couldn't believe it, but a lot of them were males. Yeah. Uh, let me get it. There you go. Yeah, a lot of them were, like even the, you know, these 11, 12 inches were all males right now. This one actually looks like a female, but uh, it's good to see the females sliding in right now. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. 30% off the Rapala fishing lures on sale starting at 405. We're fishing the Wisconsin River in Stevens Point, a two and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, three and a half hours from Chicago, and three and a half hours from Minneapolis. If you are a spring walleye fisherman, grab some of these. They're an incredible bait. Caitlin's rattling Google Eye hair jigs. Right there, Ryan. Ooh, that one pounded it. Wow, dude. That is my first cast. Beautiful walleye right there on the hair, man. Perky, lively, smacking hair jigs. Doesn't get much better, does it? Big, fat, chunky spring walleyes. Out here, it takes a certain type. The type who's always the first one out. The type who knows deep down everyone else is just fishing for second. Enter the Apex Series. See more fish. Seize more victories. Settle for nothing less. With unrivaled clarity, it's the top fish finder for the most demanding type of angler. Only from Hummingbird. You know, folks, we fish big water all the time. Lake Erie, Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, and today the Atlantic Ocean. And for my entire career, I've relied on, on Johnson pumps as a bilge pump. Uh, what makes Johnson pumps so reliable? Yeah, John, so our motto is reliability on board. We've been making pumps for over 50 years. And the last thing you wanna think about when you're out on the water like this is your bilge pump. And is it reliable? Do you have extra cartridges? Can you make a change if you were to have a failure? With our new Aqua Void cartridge bilge pump, we've made all that really easy for you. Well, how do you change one? Yeah, so with the new Aqua Void bilge pump, you simply just take out the cartridge, put in a new one, 
and it's as easy as that. And Johnson Pump, the new model again is called Aqua Void. <laughs> oh, this just clumped it, man. Right after that crappie, and I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll show you what I'm doing, folks, when we get this fish in. He hit it hard. Nice uh, is it? you see him? No, not Okay. Not. Whoa, right. might be a pike. Could be. Might be a pike, and what do we got there? Oh, that's a nice pike right there. Wow, hey, Joseph, you can, one. yeah. That is a fun fish to catch. And all I'm doing, folks, is I got a jigging minnow on, and we're marking fish right underneath the boat. So I was just sitting here by the side of the boat on my easy chair going up and down like that, and clump, that thing hit. That is a really nice fish. Yeah. And you'll get some big ones in here, too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And they hang around because there's a lot of fish. We've even seen some perch show up. You caught a small one. Uh, and I think they're targeting these panfish and smaller walleyes that are in here. Hey, one thing I want to mention too that we haven't talked about, we get later into summer and fall, you guys do musky trips. Absolutely, yeah. We uh, specialize, that's what I do. I specialize in the musky trips. You call our store and you want to get in on the water with us, we'll get you taken care of and probably have a great time and catch some fish. <laughs> Look, Dad, I got a perch. Hey, that, that's a nice <laughs> eater Look at perch the way right he ate that Kalen's hair jig. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool. Look and, Joseph, that. that's something that's kind of new on the flowy chair? Yeah, we've been just seen these show up in this spot here. Uh, we're getting a really nice perch population back in the Wisconsin River uh, as of recently, and it's really nice to see these perch come back. They, now, they that's make, only, what, about seven, eight? Yeah, maybe seven and a half. And but, you get bigger ones. Yeah, and that's a, one of the first ones, nicer ones we've caught today. <laughs> Let's see, here we have ourselves a, you know, they're gonna, a couple years, man, those are gonna be, turn around, those are gonna be, not, those are gonna be nice ones. And the jigging yeah. minnow is something people shouldn't forget here too, right? right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, you know, usually it's, this time of year, it's most people's go-to. We've been using hair jigs, but now the jig and the minnow has picked up and we'll get a few more of these. But always have minnows with you. Oh, we always have minnows. What do you got there, Joseph? Oh, I think it's just another little small walleye here. I'm just gonna flip them up and in. But that's part of the fun, I think, of your guide service. Oh yeah. Is the rod's always bending. You guys are always catching something. Yeah, and uh, we just kind of made a little move here, and uh, there's a couple fish down there, so we're gonna let this one go and get back at it, catch a few more. Hey, here we go, here we go. We got ourselves another crappie. That is cool. That's a beautiful fish. Now, again, folks, this is, what is today's April the 10th, so this is just starting on the crappies up here. Yep. And do they move back into the backwaters then? Yep. and they're just kind of on a transition period right now. Uh, this is a, not, not too terribly of a sized one here. No. This hook out of its mouth, I'm gonna show it. Show it I'll just, here. just hold them up, yeah, there you go. Here, I'll mm -hmm. bend that down a little bit. That's a, yeah, that's an eater size right oh, there. Yeah. And I like the build on the fish in the river here too, you know? Right, and you know, this is not even a, the, one of the bigger ones we've been catching, but like you said, this would make a great fish fry and a great sandwich. Oh, Joseph's got one in the back, and there Matt just caught one in the front. Look at that. And before evening can get really good, fish it, can, can pick up, it can, yeah, and Matt just caught one, and I got another one here next to the boat. We're just using a different style crankbait, and yeah. uh, that one might make 15, but it might be just a tad short. Hey, Joseph, is that a little better fish, buddy? It feels like it. It's fighting now. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit better fish. All right, let's see. Here he is. Oh, yeah. And oh, nice oh, flip in yeah. there. There's a legal walleye, Joseph. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, hey, what? We got about an hour of sunlight left, buddy. We got an hour of sunlight left, and hopefully we can get a few more of these. This one absolutely crushed it. So. What is that, about 17? Yeah, that's a little, maybe a little bit short, about 16, about the perfect eater size. Hey, look at that. As we're just getting ready to pack up and go in. in Ooh, that's there a nice go. walleye right there. Look at that one. Hey, Joseph, you know what, buddy? We had so much fun today. I actually got a half a day tomorrow morning. Uh, you want You guys want to give it a try tomorrow, yeah, Jen? it's going to be really nice tomorrow. It's going to be almost 70 degrees, so I think that'd be a great idea. We can go catch a few more, and I look forward to spending some more time with you. Yeah. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2024 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Michael LeMay Jr. of East Troy, Wisconsin, got this 31 and a half inch walleye in DeSoto, Wisconsin, using a minnow. Keith Johnson of Portage, Indiana, caught this 16 inch perch on Lake Michigan using a fly rig and minnows. 
Chase Miller of Stevens Point, Wisconsin, caught this 43-inch pike on the Bay of Green Bay using a hair jig. Logan Berries of Heartland, Wisconsin, caught this 23-inch largemouth bass using a clam tungsten jig on a pond. And this week's first kid winner is Hunter Paulson of Lake Forest, Illinois, caught this 32-inch brown trout in Milwaukee using a square bill. And Gabe Harrison of Dousman, Wisconsin, caught this 38 and a half inch northern pike on a lake using a sucker. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, save 29% on the Frable Fat and Sassy Worm Bedding on sale for $11.99. And 30% off the Lakes and Rivers Spinning Reels on sale starting at $18.89. Hey folks, we've got a really cool event coming up at Lakeside Marina in Oshkosh on April the 20th. Pete Mena will be there to talk about muskies. Blake and I will talk about hot fishing spots in the Midwest. Everybody gets a free Johnsonville lunch and you can test drive a recon boat. Again, that's April 20th at Lakeside Marina in Oshkosh. For more info, go to lakesidemarina.com. Another one with it. There's another one with it too. Oh, is there really? Yeah. Cool. Here it is. Look at him swimming with it. Here it is. And oh, that's a oh, nice yeah. walleye. There you go, pal. I'll tell you what, April in Wisconsin, Matt, is really weird. Yesterday we were cold. <laughs> Today it dawned. It's uh, sunny and about it's gonna be 67 degrees. Yes, yeah, yeah. And uh oh, eggs. they're right eggs. in the middle of the No, spot. that's a oh, male. Honey. Yeah, yep, look at yeah. a little musky. But uh, yeah. now we got the good conditions today. We're going to have fun, finish the show, and have yeah. some Johnsonville's. That sounds delicious. Oh, fish Yay, on! Yay. All right, way to go. There you go. On Let's the see. Good old hair. Not day. quite legal there, but what's yeah. kind of interesting, Matt, what you did here, buddy. When we go down river, you got everybody casting in different directions and you found a pot of these males on a gravel flat. They're all in the gravel flat right now, yeah. We've and, been looking and looking and looking, but and so they're here. That's what we should concentrate on for a while now? That's what we're gonna do, yep. All hey, right. hey, Joseph, what do you got, buddy? Oh, it's a little walleye. A little walleye? Yeah, it's not super big, but they fight that's good a, in this current. Oh, that's it's the not thing. too bad, that looks almost legal. There we go. Yeah. Nicely done. It's on a little crankbait. It's baseball season, and my favorite part of tailgating is Johnsonville brats. And today I got the Johnsonville better with cheddars. Ooh. But what's so great about these, and everyone's gonna love them at the tailgate, they're filled with double the Wisconsin cheddar cheese. Even better. Yep, they're pre cooked, made with 100% cuts of premium pork. All you have to do is cook them on the grill for a few minutes and they're ready to go. Ooh. Double the cheddar. Let's try them out. Mmm. How good are those? Delicious. What, the, what a crunch on there. <laughs> Aren't you going to bring those to your tailgates? Mm-hmm. So much cheese. <laughs> and what's so great about Matt's guide service, you can bring your own Johnsonvilles and cook them right here on the pontoon. Johnsonville better with cheddar. Double the cheddar. Find them at your favorite retailer today. Ooh, what do you got? What do another you got? Another walleye right next to the boat plate. Oh, he's staying down. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I it. see. Yeah, see folks, the there was another it? one. You see the other one? Yes. Right Get him up. Got him. Nice. Is that common for other walleyes well, to follow? We're, we're right in the middle of the spawn right now. So okay. these males are chasing other males and they're pretty aggressive right now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Usually I only see bass follow different fish, but that's that right. was really cool. That one, that one would make it. That and one would go to the pan. What is that? It's just a, they call them cold water growths. Okay. It's just like a little ward or something. Nothing you have to be concerned about if you're going to be eating the fish. Sometimes they they pepper the body, but yeah. they just are just a little wart that. You can still eat it. Yeah, associated with cold water. Here we go, here we go, Matt. And we got our got hey, 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 there we go. You know, you caught the crappies yesterday in this spot. 
and uh, you and I talked about putting together a double rig here. And what we have here is that on the bottom and that above. And uh, that's fun. And that fish was about six feet off the bottom, by the yeah. way. Yeah, they're nice crappies, really. Where there's one, there's more. Ooh, another one there, another one, yeah. On the double there decker There we go, crappie look at scrubs. that crappie, Blake. That's hey, Blake, come on over here. Double decker. Uh, the double decker, <laughs> and I'll tell you what, that crappie scrub over the years has been just magic, well, hasn't it? I mean, I've been using this minnow for the past hour and a half, and you've already caught two. Hey, want to mention, what are you doing next Saturday? You, you know what you're doing. <laughs> We're going to where? Lakeside, Lakeside Marina. Marina in Oshkosh. <laughs> you and I will be recon there. Boat. New recon boats will be there and you can test drive them. Yep. And Pete Mayna will be there. You and I and Pete, we're doing seminars. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yep. Free. Johnsonville Free Johnsonville, Johnsonville Brats. Yeah. And that's next Saturday. Yep. And uh, it'll be fun. Lakeside Marina in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. See you all there. Hey, Joseph in the back of the boat. I hope it's a crappie. What oh, do we got? No, another walleye here. Oh, not a bad walleye. Not a bad walleye. There. Hey, you want to tell the folks, you know, we talked, you know, we're April 10th today, and these fish are in the middle of spawn, so the good bite's coming up, huh? Yeah, the good bite, that post-spawn bite's really good. I think we just got to into uh, kind of these warm days where these fish are in the midst of spawning here, and we're cut picking off a few that have uh, already spawned, so that's where these small ones are coming from, and these are males that we're catching here. For more information on pontoon fishing the Wisconsin River, call Taps and Tackle Co. That phone number is 715-341-7400. 3417400. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's custom steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's custom steps, call 920-315-0333. There's never been a better time to get a new R-Max than right now during the Yamaha Get Out and Ride sales event. Take advantage of our amazing deals on the entire Wolverine R-Max family of side-by-sides. During the Yamaha Get Out and Ride sales event, you can now get as low as 3.99 APR for 84 months or up to $3,500 customer cash on your new Wolverine R-Max. Well, thanks, Matt, for the past couple of days catching multi-species. Do you have openings? Yeah, we got openings at the shop. Just give us a call there. We can fit you in. So. Well, thank you for a great time. Yeah. And, folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet, but we'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm Blake Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.